Hello everyone. Today I'll be unboxing Western Digital. It's a four terabyte hard drive. So, so let's go ahead and unbox this one. Okay, Western Digital, 4 terabytes, so it should be pretty good. I got a SATA 3 connector and a SATA power connector, so that's how it connects to the computer. So now I'll just show you how it's going to be installed. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do would be go ahead and turn on the power button, which is here. And then it's also good to unplug this whole power thing, power cable, and that should be it. Alright, so next step is to take off the lid. So, I just unplugged all the cables. So it's a good idea to use um, the ESD wristband, it's pretty good. Um, all you have to do is just attach it to the case. Yeah, that'll be fine. Just put it on your wrist, so it doesn't matter which one. Okay, so I got this thing on me. If you don't have it, you can also attach your power supply and it would discharge you and then it will be safe to attach the components. So I'm trying to get to this hard driver right here. So yeah, I have to take off this part first. Uh, let me disconnect the power cables. There we go. So I'm just going to disconnect this one and that one. I forgot there's also one more of those things on the other side. So let me do that and then I'll continue on. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull it out now. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so this one was one terabyte, same Western Digital. I'm going to use this as a backup and then I'll just transfer all the data from here to the new one. Okay, and then it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just go ahead and slide the new drive in and unplug plug the cables back. Okay. There we go, that's a new one, no dust, <laughs> nice, 4 terabytes, and it's a SATA 6 gigabits per second, which is the same as my motherboard supports, so all you have to do is just go ahead and slide it back in. Okay, there we go, and then all we're gonna do is put that clip and we're gonna close that, close the clip. So this pretty much it from here. We're just gonna put this cable into into this slot. There we go. And then that's the SATA cable. So this one <clears throat> we'll put it right here, right next to the power cable. And that's it. Just make sure it's all the way in, because sometimes if you don't plug it all the way in, it could create a short circuit and that can fry your hard drive. <laughs> so just make sure all the cables are plugged in all the way. Okay. Yeah, looks secure to me. 
and that's it and then let me go ahead i'll start the computer and then i'll show you how to set it up and see you there it should be working just fine so let me turn it on yeah so let's go ahead and take a look at the desktop and see if we can i'll show you how to set it up okay so now we are on the desktop all you have to do is find an application that is called disk part so yeah disk partition so if you type disk disk partition you should be able to f see this one that says create and format disk partitions so you go ahead and go in here and you should have this pop out and then so for this step you do want to select if you have windows 11 windows 10 you can select gpt if you have like um, older windows like windows <laughs> 7 or xp i believe it should be mbr for those ones but i'm not sure so i think it's best to look it up yourself just but if you do have windows 10 or windows 11 you can just select the gpt that's a good partition table and then press ok now you have this uh, 4 terabyte unallocated space right click and select sim new simple volume and then from here you press next just keep everything default then you can select whatever letter you want to use for the disk uh, I'll just keep it at D and then that's it next and then just file system do uh, select NTFS because that's the latest uh, Windows file system format and then keep that default and then if you want to create a name for it like I'm gonna store videos on this so I'll just say videos that's the name of the drive okay and th that should be it you can press next and then go ahead and press finish and it should just allocate all the space and now you have uh, the second drive here the name of the drive as you put the title would be videos for me but for you could be something else so you can close this one now when you go to file explorer yeah when you're here now you should be able to see the new drive 3.63 terabyte which is not completely 4 terabytes but I guess the file um, the drive needs to take some space to install its own software to keep it running so yeah that's how you do it and then if you have an old drive I'm gonna create another video I'm gonna show you how you can transfer files from your old drive to the new one so stay tuned for that one thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.